Hey guys, so before we begin, I just wanted to point out that this is pretty much going to be a rough edit. Uh, this video takes place in between the time of me finding the spider spawner as well as finding another spider spawner, which is a lot closer. So technically, in this mine, there are a grand total, well, from what I've seen, only three spider spawners in this uh, video at this time. So, just sit back and relax if you want to take a look. I'll be adding my comments uh, via uh, this microphone. So, hey, uh, yeah, enjoy. So right now, what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to get to the nether because there's a couple things that I've discovered that I needed. Number one, I needed to get a the quartz crystals so that way I could make a observer so I can automate our sugarcane farm. Uh, additionally, uh, there's a couple of other things I also wanted to get like soul sand to start making nether wart, um, nether wart uh, in the overworld so I need a soul sand and nether wart but that kind of changed uh, here as you can see honestly I've never seen the nether look as good as it does now I didn't even know they added so many things to the nether such as uh, different biomes which is crazy nuts to me I it's been a long time since I've actually played they the developers did a really good job so right here I don't even know what I'm looking at uh, it, it was some sort of root I'm assuming it goes with some with the fungus as I've been now re uh, recently been hearing about in some of the newer uh, tree farms um, for the fungus uh, still not sure what I'm gonna be using this for but I'm gonna go ahead and collect it right now anyway honestly I am just all struck the developers did an outstanding job comparatively from the last time I personally visited the nether uh, it, it's just so crazy I mean blue fire it, it just really gave a completely whole different opinion of what the nether is it gave it a much more spookier feel than than I have previously ever been accustomed to 1010 I give them so many props and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more to discover um, yeah <laughs> What you're seeing me doing right here, I'm actually working on my sugarcane farm, trying to make it automatic. This is the first time I've ever used an observer. In my opinion, it looked like it would be a lot better option than using, uh, say, a clock. Uh, so instead of the pistons just constantly going off, causing lag in my game, although I haven't really noticed any lag actually in a long time since I've upgraded my computer to, uh, to my 2700X. So, yeah, uh, just trying to sort it all out, get it working completely, and as you can kind of see that I kind of messed up as I was building this thing, but it did turn out better. Considering this is like one of the only few times I've ever made an automatic sugarcane farm, I think it came out pretty well. I had a slight issue trying to get the hoppers down because it was my own mess up, but other than that... It, I think it came out pretty well. Eventually, I would want to make it bigger, uh, not to spoil anything, but some big changes are going to be happening here very soon um, because I have already recorded the next episode after this one, and that will be coming up in the next few days. So that's just pretty much it. I just wanted to post a short video upon about um, 
how things are going on the survival series um, just in case if you saw in the next video after this um, how the sugarcane farm is already automatic and I kind of skipped over that I didn't really want to just leave y'all in the dark this was just some gameplay that I was doing pretty much just offline just randomly recording and just trying to expand how the uh, how the uh, farm was doing anyways uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it here just say short as you can see I just we finally expanded the farm all the way out uh, uh, just an added note I'm almost to 40 subscribers that's completely awesome to me I'm sitting at 38 subscribers and that just means 38 people are actually watching me well kind of I'm not getting that many views, but I am starting to get some views coming in. Sorry, I had to readjust myself in my chair. I just want to say thank you. Thank uh, each and every one of you that actually sit through my boring videos. Um, I'm slowly getting better. My editing, I, I need to be able to make my editings, uh, make my videos a lot shorter than just like 20, 30 minutes of me just randomly spitting out, just dribble coming out. I'm sure you can already tell that just just not even being recorded, I'm able to speak a lot more better and just more clear in general. And I'm hoping to bring out my personality out more during the actual videos instead of me feeling like I'm on a spot. And I'm sure that just comes with experience as I go along. So I'm kind of behind in this whole YouTube, you, YouTube um, thing. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just kind of uh, behind comparatively to a lot of other YouTubers out there that got an early start um, years and years ago, but better now than, ne uh, than never at all. I want to be able to just say that I've actually done something and put myself out there because I'm generally just either I'm just going to work and coming back home and just living my life, and I don't really want that. I want to be able to connect with people, especially now with how the world is ending up and due to um, the virus that must not be named out there. Anyways, thank you all for listening. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz. You don't have to. I'm still going to be here posting my mindless videos, helping me find peace of mind. You all have a wonderful night. Goodbye. Oh,